So, Coach, uh, especially in the last few weeks, you guys have, have, have put up some pretty impressive sack total. You had a season high five this past week. Scott Matlock's really developed into a pass rusher this year. He has seven sacks so far. He only had two career sacks coming into this season. For Scott specifically, why do you think he's so much better as a pass rusher this year? Uh, I think it starts with his mobility. Um, he is he is a physical guy. He is strong. I mean, it's, if you guys have been up on Scott and been next to him, he's a big dude. He's a, you know, and the way he's moving and changing direction, his burst. And last week, the way he came off the ball and pass rush, the way he got off the ball, I mean, pass rush is 75% get off, guys. Like, let's not make a mistake about it. Guys are going to do what they do, what they're comfortable with. Pass rush is 75%. Any great pass rusher, watch them get off the ball. They stress offensive linemen. They get them in uncomfortable positions, and they go to work. And there's no cookie-cutter way of doing it once it's time to um, put a move on a guy when you're pass rushing. But it's about a mentality and coming off the ball and, and being physical. The same approach in the run game has to apply to pass rush. And, you know, Scotty, uh, you know, he did his best job pass rushing last week, too, on the Canijo, um, on K. Kala's interception early on in the game there. Uh, Scotty got tremendous pressure on the quarterback. And those are the type of things that make a whole um, play come together. It's not just one guy. I mean, K. Kala made an unbelievable play on that interception in, in his eye progression and how he executed that defense. But Scotty had a lot to do with that as well. Scott Matlock came into this season with two career sacks. He has seven so far. Why is he so better in that area this year? Well, Ron, I mean, with Scott Matlock, I mean, he absolutely works his tail off from January to right now. And so seeing him continue to step in to be the player he is, obviously not even only on, on passing situations. I mean, he is an absolute force to be reckoned with in the run game, especially seeing him be able to get this production has been huge. I mean, because you – you won't find a better kid in regards to how hard he works and wants it more. Um, so really proud of him and his development. And, and just like a lot of our guys, Ron, I think this, you know, he's still got a long way to go and the sky's the limit for Scott Mallock. Scott, you came into the season with two career sacks. You have seven this year. Why do you think you've, you've improved so much as a pass rusher? Um, just continue to get good coaching, you know, uh, develop myself as an athlete, you know, getting more explosive, faster, bigger. Uh, putting myself in good opportunities, trusting the training I'm, I'm doing, um, you know, certain play calls, this and that, you know, and at the end of the day, pass rush, you just have to want it. Um, just effort. It's all it's all in your heart. 80% of the battle is just wanting to uh, get there. So just trying to do my best for the team. And obviously it's it's all the front, with the front end, working with the back end. And, um, you know, if they're covering really well, it gives me more time. And, if we get home easily up front, then they don't have to cover for as long, and it all works together. So whatever I can do to, you know, help the team. You put on like 15 pounds of muscle this off season, but you also seem quicker on the field, according to all the coaches. Did this new strength and conditioning staff kind of focus on that, on that kind of burst and that get off from the line this off season? Without a doubt, you know, we, I, I myself feel a lot more explosive, more quick off the off the ball, you know, fast twitch, and that's. Credit to our strength staff and the work we put in in the off season with, uh, you know, some different things that we are not that we weren't used to. But overall, I do feel more explosive, you know, stronger, bigger, and all that. But credit to the strength staff and getting me ready to getting me ready for the season. Uh, what stands out to you about Xavion Valade in this Wyoming running running attack? Mm. Yeah, he's a good back. He's been there for a long time. He knows the system. Um, physical downhill and he's the one guy you know if if one guy's not doing his job not in his hole and I mean he will I mean he, he'll be gone and you know their O line's very big they're physical and they're gonna do their you know play very hard you know this is their Super Bowl it always is every year um, every team that plays us really and uh, so we got to make sure that we're playing with good discipline it's gonna be a tough tough fight it's gonna be you know 15 round championship match so we just gotta do our job and make sure that we contain him not really that he doesn't have any open space to kind of show what he can do so how is your approach different this week facing a mobile quarterback versus last week when you're facing a pocket passer and Jake Hayner yeah I mean Wyoming's had a very good stretch of big quarterbacks that can run um you know Jake Hayner I mean he can run too every every quarterback can run really some just maybe don't want to more than others but yeah he this guy can run and if we gotta do a good job up front of containing them, maintaining our, you know, Russian integrity and whatnot and squeezing them, making sure that he feels uncomfortable and he doesn't really have any space to move. And obviously the back end's gonna help us with that by doing their job of covering downfield and it's 
it's going to be a team team uh, effort win. So.